Are you ready? Whoa! Because of the volume that we're getting, we're putting everything through auction in order to sell and make room for the next storage unit that we happen to be buying. Look how many there is! <laughs> so many Pandora bags. She's still playing with the lingerie. Up there. Oh, she's in her element again. One thing I do is work with resellers and I am the type of person that would rather move it on. Oh, look at this already, straight away. Look right there. See the coins? Yeah. This is the problem. You look at this from a photo and it doesn't look that big. But look at this TV. Is it is it in there? Or is it an empty box? There's something in there, I can feel it straight away. Oh, look, there's another TV, Lee. Start pulling it out. Oh, look at what you found already, girls. Look at that. Google Chrome. Uh, we might get, what, 30 bucks or something like that, but the Google Chromes will be $20. I reckon these have been taped back up though, I don't think it's brand new. Wow. What have we got? 2CL. 2021. Is this brand new too, you reckon? Maybe. How big is it? Oh. It's a big one. 60-inch. Well, that one's going to be worth at least, what, 700 bucks for this one, you reckon? Maybe. We're gonna, we're gonna put some price comparisons up here for you guys. We don't know what we're talking about. No idea. Is this is the collector's I so. box. I hope so. Let's have a look. Mr. Squiggle. Oh! oh. Yeah. Two, four, six, Mr. eight. Mr. Squiggle. Squiggle. But I'm not sure if there was something that was meant to be there. What do you reckon's in this one? Jewelry. Oh, oh, it's empty. Ah. Oh. Oh. Have a look. Ah, oh, that's gross. That's rubbish. Do you reckon these have got stuff in them? Or do you reckon they're empty? These boxes here. Nah, this one's got stuff in it straight away. Is it fishing or tools, do you reckon, though? I'm, tools. Think, I'm thinking tools. And it is. Oh, look, I brought a Stanley knife, but I didn't need one. There was already one in here. And we've got a Sig Chrome. No, that's ETC. So you still get 20 bucks for that. Um, we probably... Oh, is that Sig Chrome? That's a Sig Chrome one. So there's 20 bucks just because of the condition on that one. So we got 50 bucks of tools already. Another toolbox. Has this one got stuff in it, you reckon? It's got stuff in it. Another one. These are actually worth less because they're cheap. We're looking for brand names basically and nothing in there. Oh look, I didn't even see. There's a watch. Uh, no, no value though. Oh, you found another Squiggles. Yeah. Oh, that one's got the thing in it. Yeah, so what's the, is that a two one cent piece or something? Yeah, it's a one cent piece. And then? Oh, Tamagotchi. <gasps> it's a repro though by the looks. Bandai 2017, yeah. They didn't have that writing when they were first out. What else have you found? I don't know. Pandora. Pandora, but. Ooh. You will not believe the amount that she's found. And they're holding, holding what though? They look 17 inch, 18 inch. I already got at least 500 bucks for that set. Tires are decent too. This one's got the gutter rash. So obviously he let his missus drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, should my you should see mine. <laughs> Ooh, what have we got? I think I've done three or four loads to the trailer now. So while I keep coming up, you girls keep finding all the good stuff and I'm missing out. But look at all these Pandora bags. Look how many there is. So many Pandora bags. Wow. If you want to see what we've got, stick through to the end of the video. In the meantime, this is another box. What have we got in here? A Geneva watch, which is worth nothing. A, another nothing. Another nothing. We've got lots of costume jewelry. Ladies' watches are really, really hard to sell. Ladies' rings are easier to sell than men's rings. Men's watches are easier to sell than ladies' watches. It's funny how that works, isn't it? Mm. Oh, look, Metallica. That's got to be worth something, surely. More you jewelry, guys. Men. What about men? No. She says that men don't buy women jewelry. No, and I'm no. like, well, we'll just buy storage units and you won't need to. Something like that's 30 bucks. There we go. Really? Uh, what are the brands, mate? We got pen. That's a pen. That's a really good reel and it's got some um, braid line on it. So what's the rod? Pen. It's a beautiful reel and rod combo. So we've got about a, what, 150 bucks of rods and reels, mate. <laughs> Kitchen stuff by the looks. So let's open it up quickly. That's all extension cords. Kids, oh, the Nintendo. I, all I read was Nintendo. Nintendo. We got DVDs, we got CDs. Oh, Mario. Yeah, look. How many more in here? All the way through. Wow. All of these games and a console, I would expect to get about 150 bucks nice. on a good day. Got a uh, $50 clothes dryer. Whoa. That's all you Woo. sort of get for dryers these days, I reckon. When they're second, second hand, what do you sell a dryer for? 90% of the stuff that we're buying is going through auction. Just so that we can go out and buy the next thing. 
little bit. Gone for a swim. We got a market for it. There's so much mold in Queensland. 90% of the units we do, the items in the units are full of mold. Yeah. Full. Like we end up throwing away so much tons, tonnages of clothes because they are full of mold kept in storage facilities. Is that some um, Sleeping Beauty? Oh. Busted. <laughs> Probably 40, 50. Is I don't it, know. Is it what official Disney? Yeah, of course. Have you seen the movie? It's a limited edition, 2017 Bradford Exchange. Oh. So Maybe I only put 50 bucks on it. Yeah. I've been selling this stuff too cheap. That's the problem. When you buy this amount of stuff, you've got to move it. You can't just hold on to it. Oh, look at that. Concord, it's a modern speaker, but it's like in a gramophone style. That looks pretty trendy and retro. That would do good in a mid-century Art Deco, Art Nouveau home on like a teak sideboard. You know what I'm talking about? Like this. Like this. Antique, you're antique. Not antique, you. it's mid-century. Antique is 100 years old, mid-century is like Yeah, you're about years 100 old. years old. Yeah, I know, I'm <laughs> catching up to you. Let's have a look together. You ready? Go. All right, what is it? Do you know how many horses I've got? Oh, it's all Lego. On a LOL doll box, do you know LOL have started going up in value? It's all like hundreds of dollars. Yeah, I know, it's crazy, isn't it? But if you've got the boxes, you'd expect it would have the dolls somewhere, but girls Lego, like we can get good money for some of the people. Stop that, bloody, that's so annoying, Rachel. Oh my God, you child. <laughs> oh, this stuff here just does not sell. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Look at the big crab pots though. A few of those. Yeah. And a box called Large. Oh! Is that a, what is that? Is that a Nintendo? No, it's a VHS, VCR. Um, some of this stuff's actually coming back and it's actually becoming valuable. Something like that, you might get 30 bucks. Oh, look at this box. Lee! Lee! Oops, I'm oh, not breaking stuff, breaking was stuff. it someone else? Thank you. Um, maybe 20 bucks for the Casio. Right. And then we got a bunch of uh, collectibles. That might be a good little box to go through. Looks interesting. Oh, what do they call where you get one calendar thing for each month? Event calendar. Got the calendar right. <laughs> <sighs> we got the Hummel Winter. Yeah, we got the fan. We got you. We got the light. We got the humidity and sweat. Lucky there's four of us. If I had to do this by myself, I'd be... They don't like sharing. They like getting all the stuff for themselves. Yeah, I like to share. <laughs> yeah, but we're talking about clothes, not yeah. anything else. <laughs> More girls Lego. Oh, what the hell? That looks like a broken washing machine. That why, looks like a washing machine. Why would you store that? I just don't understand what people do sometimes. Yeah, it's all girls Lego. It's really hard to sell. You just don't get the same kilo rate for girls Lego as you do boys Lego. Is that a leopard? What's that? It's a horse head. Horse head. Uh, it's one of those ones that people used to make themselves. The horse black bookend. You still get, oh no, it's chipped. Five dollars. You won't even get five bucks for that being chipped. So you reckon there's stuff in here? Tools. Tools? <laughs> You're right, there is. There tools. tools. I just dropped off two trailer loads as well. If you haven't seen my last video, be sure to check that out. We just dropped off, I don't even know, maybe 60 lots of tools to the local auction house. So if you're looking for tools, I'll put the link in the video description below and you can bid on any future items that Lloyd's are selling on my behalf. What have you got now? Nothing. Oh, I saw this hand. Where is it? <laughs> no, no. stop trying to put us on blast for our laundry. So much of it. How many pieces have you got at the moment? Hundreds. Wait, that's her throw fire. What do we got in here? There's quite a bit of stuff in here. Yeah, this looks all right. Some yeah. scales, a toy. Oh, that's a um, torque wrench. Yeah, yeah, but it's a SCR. I think is that a cheap brand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks See, good no, those um, cases are uh, cheap ones. I think they're only like ninety to buy new. I sell those for thirty second hand. Um, you want the Warren and Brown torque wrenches if you're going to get them, or the Snap-on, or the Sid Chrome. Well, I'm just telling you what you want to look for. <laughs> See, even if you don't have teenagers talking back, You'll women do it as well. You deserve it. <laughs> Emptying storage units used to be fun. It still is. I've got Lloyd's Auction House selling all my stuff that we put in bulk lots. I've got resellers selling for me. I guess what do I do with the rest? Just You've become a collector. <laughs> is that another Dremel? I just. Yesterday's video, once again, I found a Dremel I didn't even know I had from last time because everyone else packing stuff up for me. So it all goes in my shed and I don't even know what I've got. So that's another 40, 50 bucks for that. There's like 10 bucks. It's upside down. It helps if you hold it up the right way. I don't even worry about those. So what else is in here? All the fishing reels. We've got to get at least 10 bucks for all of those. So there's another 100 bucks there. Worst case scenario. 
couple of tools. So I'll just do that as a bulk lot. All those LOL dolls are in here by the looks. Yeah, and my little pony. Lots of stuff. What's that? Is that gold? Look at the, oh, that's coins. That's fossilized coins. Look at that. Oh, that's okay. cool. Lee. Danny. Look. Hi, you, not that you can see because you don't have glasses. I can see this coin. Look. Oh. So they've dug this rock up with the coins fossilized in it. Olden day. That's Olden cool. Day that's different. Daddy. All right, we're going to make a seat. Oh, you've been holding out on me. Look at all this cool stuff. Oh, we've got a fan going. That's what the noise was. We've got some hard drives and chargers, the old Canon calculator. That's all right. Well, that's going to be my little chair. We've got a toolbox going. She's a machine. Look at all the sorting that she's been doing. We just dropped off so much of this to auction yesterday, and that's the problem. People are like, why are you dropping everything off and selling it all so cheap? But the thing is, I just replace it the next day. We've got another tablet. So that goes in the box of tablets that we've got. I don't know how many. Oh, my God. Look how many hard drives we've got, particularly after that storage unit we did two weeks ago. What's this? We've got a watch. It's a, a Suzu Ute. Must be a limited edition that they um, sold with the Ute, potentially. But that's a G-Shock. So G-Shock collectors are um, actually looking for all the different variants of those watches now. We've got so many cameras in here. That looks like it would have been a good one back in the day. HP Series 8 Intel. Quite a few tablets in here. Any phones? Got to go through it all. Parker pens. Oh, this wasn't probably the smartest idea. Why do you always do that, though? Why would you stop it? Why would you do that? You always do that. And then we have to clean it up. Oh, we've got a knife. That's a cutthroat razor. Yeah, that's a cutthroat razor from the old days. Oh, I cut myself. I actually did. Did you show me? We got more controls. How many body controls have we got? We must have more items in here. That we there can... might be more TVs in there. Is that... oh, a, for a car. We, got... we just dropped off 20 uh, tape measures to auction yesterday. What else is in here? More hard drives. Oh, I needed some white out. Got some white out. Another tape measure. Look how many body cameras we got. Look, one, two, three. Oh, look at the chains. Oh, is that, are they real? Are they real? I don't know. Nah, I You're don't a jewelry person. Nah, they're not. You might get five bucks each for those. It's got, that one's got some his name on it, 1988. For living set, so you get 20 bucks for that. That's cute. Well done, mum. Put it in auction. Um, I think that's about it. What's that? Is that a vape thing? No? I don't know what that is. Oh, is that a, no, that's, that's a stopper for, for yeah. drinks. Oh, that's a pour on. Pour thingy. Oh, that's handy. You can take it home. <laughs> Um, keep that. What is but, it? Yeah, no, that's just a razor, like a okay, hair clipper. Don't use it again. Oh, that's nothing. We got binoculars, ten bucks, five bucks. I should use those now. And we got to try and find the other walkie-talkie. I just. I think that's the only one that I saw. Oh, there, there. it is. We got a set. No, they're different. Oh. We always pay cash for unwanted shed items. Unwanted clothing though is not something I want to deal with and what I've done is I actually haven't gone through any of the rubbish that the girls are deciding that isn't good enough for them to sell. So we're doing that now. They actually don't want to sell denim jackets unless they're brand name. So these are all going to Goodwill. What about Bugs Bunny slippers? Goodwill. What about handbags? Goodwill. What about leather type Jackets, goodwill. What about jumpers? Goodwill. What about bomb bags? You got it, goodwill. What would you do with all this sort of stuff when you're getting that much out of every unit and we're still halfway through? Comment below, tell me what you do. <laughs> what did you just say? I keep finding more stuff and she said it's an old brand, it's not popular anymore. Like there is just bags and bags and bags. And the problem is, I honestly would have taken this size bag. And I guess that's why in America, the Goodwill bins, they are so profitable for the resellers because the volume that Goodwill actually go through in donation centers is ridiculous. Um, they sell, I think, the clothing for like a dollar or two dollars per pound. And I would have at least dropped off, is there two pound in a kilo? So what's pound in tons? What's tons in pound? So if I've dropped off 10 ton, which is 10,000 kilos, I've dropped off at least 22,000 pound of clothes to Goodwill from donation. So, yeah, 
that's what I've dropped off to uh, donation centres in the short time that I've been doing storage units up here because of the amount of clothes that have been left behind by people. But you know, we got one, two, three, four, five, and then in the back of the trailer's already got uh, the donation <laughs> section started as well. So all of this is where I put all of the stuff for charity and the tip, and then all the stuff I'm keeping goes at the front of the trailer. But we've got to try and fit everything in one load just to make life a little bit easier. What have you found over here? We've got Mario. Have you found the remote control for him? Yep, yep. Oh, you've actually got the remote. They never come with the remote. That's awesome. It's a big box of toys, is it? Yeah. We've got Simba. That's cool. I like Simba. What year is he? Is it an original? There's a whole, whole thing of it. How many Harry Potter books do we have at the shed now? I don't even know how many. Did you get him on camera? Yeah, I got him. But look at all the Lion King toys. There's just so many of them. It's so good. And that's a big box full of toys. Happy with that one. Have you seen what's at the bottom? Yep. What's at the bottom? Games. Games? Yep. Anything in this? We've got a pair of these. What do we get for those? Maybe 30 bucks for the pair? Another camera. Wow. You right there, mate? Yeah. You found anything? Nothing really. Nothing really? Like so much kitchen stuff. I don't know how many electrical appliances are in this buddy unit. That's a Breville. That's a Nostalgia Electric. Oh, I love a lamp. They actually do well. Yeah. Oh, is that a model one? 15 bucks for that. Anything else in here that's worth any money? Mm -hmm. ACDC was $20. What year was that? 2020. Two years old. What, can you get 10 bucks for that now that no one can use it just as a collectible? Maybe not. Five dollars? I don't know. Is that Wonder Woman? Yeah. That's cute. Oh! You feel me? Come in. Look at this! Come in! Look at this! Ready? This is why I pay us to dig at the bottom of the box. Oh. Oh. How cool is that bar mirror? That's... Who is it of though? I actually don't know. It's heavy. Oh, it says Vinny's five dollars, but it is old. Yeah, but how long's it been here? Well, it's an old mirror, but it would have been sold secondhand at uh, St. Vincent de Paul. But um, that, I would say 30, 40 bucks. We got more DVDs by the, the looks. Not that we can even give these away. Is that a teapot? It is. Yeah, it's cute. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Might get 20 bucks for that. It's personal. Um, but you know, this is the difference between not doing eBay and doing eBay because I don't oh, know what that would sell for on eBay, but I've been throwing all the bin. All the shoes have been going in the bin. What is that? Is that Target? Um, wildfire. Wildfire. It's nothing. Rubbish. Like it's got mold. Everything's got mold on. Like, all these facilities are just getting filled with mold. Yeah. What's that? Look at that. What's that record? Oh, yeah. Show me that. They've already cleared all that while I've been going up and down the bloody cliffs with all these trolleys and they keep <laughs> finding all the good stuff. There you go. Iron Maiden picture disc. Is that an original or is it repressed? Uh, 1982, that's an original. It's an original. Wow. That's awesome. That's got to be a hundred bucks, I reckon. I'll put a price comparison up here Thanks. for you guys. Up here for you guys. <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> is that National Poker on. League? I'd, I've got a bunch of these. Actually, some of them are worth money. Yeah, some of them are worth money. Yeah. Um, we're just talking about the beds and things like that because what I've been doing is just dumping them every single time. I've tried to donate them, but a lot of people just don't take them. I've also tried to sell them, and they go for $10 to $20, um, where the, it's just not worth the effort. So... They go straight in landfill, unfortunately. Um, if anyone's looking for beds, I find them in every single storage unit and I've probably already thrown 10 to 20 bed frames, unfortunately. All the mattresses are definitely not worth keeping, but uh, frames can be reused if someone was after them. All right, guys, we're at 445 Oxley Drive, Runaway Bay. All of these DVDs need to go. He said $500 for the lot or grab a box, grab as many as you can, put it in the box, $10. It's all gonna go. It's a clearing sale. Today's his last day. Come down, 445 Oxley Drive, Runaway Bay, rent -a vision Come and grab a bargain, $500. There are 10,000 here at least. What we're going to do is load the trailer to get out of here because it's been an extremely long day, as you would have just seen. We picked up 3,000 TV series DVDs.
from a shop that was closing down as an ex-rental store. He gave me $3,000 for $100. He offered me $10,000 for $500, but I said no because I don't have the space. And they just don't sell well for me locally and I'm not doing eBay. So we're back at the unit now. We're gonna load it up, take it home, unbox it tomorrow, and we'll see what we've got then. So stick through to the end. We'll finally get there and we'll wrap it up. How you going, mate? <laughs> I heard there's a, there it is. This is the little bag of coins you found that you haven't gone, oops, I'm dropping them. What have we got in here? We don't know. Who is that? Oh, the Commonwealth Games coins, 1982. These are just commemoration coins. They're actually not um, that valuable. I think they're only like five, 10 bucks each. I'd have to do some research, but we'll see what they're worth. Okay. What else is in here though? Looks like there's some other ones in here. It's another $5 coin. Uh, five dollars. Yeah, no, there's nothing of any value in here. 1949 penny. What have we got here? American. Nah, fail. But better than nothing. Oh, what's this one? That's all stained. Nah, that's nothing either. Oh, these little golden books, they actually do well. They're like a hundred bucks for that set. Is it? Yeah. Um, they're old ones, those dispensers. A bit dirty though. I can't help but go through all of these boxes still because there's so much in here like I don't even know how many laptops we've got the problem I'm finding with a lot of the electronics telephones computers hard drives is they need to be wiped in order to sell them because of privacy I just don't have the time to wipe all of these devices before selling them so have you got a solution for me guys I really don't know what to do there's just too many because every storage unit you find has all this sort of stuff in it all right guys we're gonna leave that there we've actually managed to get everything out of the unit we're gonna put it in the trailer and we're gonna have to go through everything